Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. Uh, we didn't get tickets to today's game against Arsenal, so we were in the Bill Nicholson pub, an incredible Spurs pub, full of Spurs fans. It was an amazing game. Obviously, as you probably know by now, it was Woolwich 1, Spurs 1. Uh, this is my match review. I have to say, I thought Tottenham Hotspur were outstanding today. Incredible. Unlike I've seen us play in a long time. Obviously, we know we've got youth and we've got hunger, we've got desire, we've got pace. Their legs are incredible. For 70 minutes today, Arsenal were not in the game. They were simply not in the game. Deli Ali was outstanding. Eric Lamella, as we all know, I've not always said positive things about him, but today he got his foot in at the right times. Yes, he took his yellow card, but he was aggressive when he needed to be. He was assertive the whole time. He was always forward thinking. Moussa Dembele, exactly the same. The form that he has shown in the last five, six game has showed, uh, games has shown exactly why we paid £15 million for him. And even though back in the summer people were saying, oh, we should sell him, and people have been talking about selling him in January, Moussa Dembele has just shown he is an, a first-rate player for Spurs, an absolute shoe-in to get in the team every, every time now. I think we've played incredibly well today. I have to say, it's a shame. You know, we drew a game where we could have gone to win today, we could have gone to Arsenal, won, really shown what we're made of. But the reality is, on one occasion, we gave Meza Ozil too much time on the ball. He is a world-class player. Let's not forget, they spent £40 million on this player. That is £10 million and we've ever spent on, more than we've ever spent on anyone. We gave him too much time. He got a great cross in, and Kira, Kieran Gibbs got in on the back stick. Some people will say Larry should have saved it. I don't really agree. He was kind of six, seven yards out, and it's just instinct from there. It really is. Larice couldn't really have done any more. It came in off the post as well. What can he do? You know, I think there is an element of we'll all feel mm, we should have won that game, we could have won that game, but can we be disappointed with getting a one-all draw at the Emirates when we're unbeaten in 11 games now? Everyone, you know, all the uh, articles in the in the mainstream news uh, sports press this week have been saying how brilliant Pochettino is, how he's getting the young players through, how well Spurs are playing, and today just absolutely it, it solidified those viewpoints. It was an incredible performance from Spurs. Arsenal will be looking at themselves right now. They'll be saying, you know, we've got nine or ten injuries. We weren't very good today. We were lucky to kind of get a result. And we're looking up at them now. Like, we're, what are we? I think we're f still five points behind them, five points behind City. Liverpool didn't get a result today. We've just gone above West Ham again. Fifth place. We're not playing the top of our game, I don't think. We're not making as many chances as we could. But Harry Kane scoring goals, his finish today was exquisite. People say, oh, he was a one-season wonder. And people say, oh, he was snatching at chances. Well, today showed exactly what confidence is all about. He got through. He didn't look at the line, though. He was just like, I'm going to wait for Czech to make his move. He waited, he waited, he waited, and he just slotted it home. When you've got no confidence, when you're not scoring goals, that is like the, the millisecond or the second that makes the difference. Kane's finish was outstanding today. He didn't really have another chance. And one chance, one goal. What a player. He is going to be England's number nine or number 10 for years to come. He's a fantastic player. Last thing I'll leave you with, Alderweireld, Jan Vertonghen and Eric Dyer. They are the three players, if we can keep them fit this season, that will make us challenge for that top four position. And potentially, in my opinion, a trophy as well. Could be the Europa League. It could be the FA Cup. But I'm not just being you know, over-optimistic because we just got a good result at the Emirates. I think we are just building the momentum and building the momentum and young players coming through as well. Josh Anoma, Harry Winks, Tom Carroll coming in if we get injuries. The hunger is there. The desire is there. And I'll leave you with this. One thing I said to the person I was watching the game with today, imagine this time last season we had Vlad Karikas to bring on. That's it. There's no Vlad Karikas this year. There's no one who is not up for it, hungry and a great player. There's just youth and belief. Guys, let us know if you agree with my match review in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at SpurredOnTV. Come on, you Spurs.